Hey, so over the next couple blog posts, we're going to be going over some posing tips that I have. And these are just really small adjustments that you can make um, that really have huge impacts on the imagery that you'll be creating and how your client will look and feel during your session. So right here, I have my subject facing me. This is a position that probably a lot of your clients may start in if you set them up with no instruction and just walk straight back. She has her shoulders square to me, she has her hips square to me, and her weight is evenly underneath her. And this is virtually a pose I would never instruct somebody into, and I'll show you a couple of ways that I would change it here. Um, but just a couple of reasons why first. Um, your eye likes asymmetry, and so for me, I'm virtually the entire session going to have my clients, all of their weight be on one leg or the other leg um, with a bent knee. And there's a couple of like posing rules. Um, number one, if it bends, bend it. That's a posing rule that people mostly abide by. Um, another is a rule of triangles and virtually Basically, that says the more triangles that you can create in the image, the better. It's more um, pleasing to the eye. Um, a third rule is trying to create an, create an hourglass figure for a female client. Um, so those are a couple of the rules at play when we talk about weight distribution and where your subject's weight distribution should be. So like I said, right now, she is standing completely square to me, and that is not something that I would love to do. It's not a very flattering pose on most body types. Now, obviously her body type, there's nothing that could be unflattering here. Um, but for most people, shifting their near shoulder towards you a little bit creates that asymmetry and bending the knee closest to you shifts her weight backwards. This is a very flattering pose for most women. Um, and it's a very feminine and dainty pose. Now we have a triangle created with that left leg of hers where the knee is bent and so it's creating something more interesting to look at. Her weight is shifted backwards. We're creating a little bit more of an hourglass figure. Um, and here is another option, which is honestly how I typically start posing somebody. And that is with the back leg bent. So while most people would recommend the front leg bent to create a smaller figure, I love to bend the back leg because I think even though this pushes the weight forward towards the lens, towards the camera, I think it um, exudes a lot of confidence. You still have the triangles that are being created. You still have an hourglass that's being created. But to me, when the weight is on that front leg, it creates just an aura of a lot of confidence um, and exudes more confidence in the photo. So generally throughout the session, I have people swapping their weight from the front to the back and I will continue to have them do that. Now, I would adjust this a little bit farther and I think that her left shoulder, the nearest shoulder to me, should be pointed towards me just a little bit more. I think that she should be angled slightly towards her horse. There's a few reasons for that. Um, I think that I would prefer her to have more connection to the horse and her shoulders pointed to the horse would show that connection. Um, but also it would create even more asymmetry and so that her shoulders would not be broadly squared to me, but that it would just create the illusion of um, more intimacy between her and the horse, and then more asymmetry for my eye um, to hopefully find flattering and pleasing.